Welcome bosses. In this video, we'll show you how to customize your footer for those plans that have this feature. So first of all, when you're not logged in, you'll see this login, create your page. That's important because when you go to the footer section, you'll see the first thing here is to show, hide, login, and create your page links. That means if you turn it off, you won't be able to log in uh, to your page from your, from your booking page. I mean, if you go right there, you have to go to bookme.name to log in if you're not logged in. Um, so it's best to keep it on. And when it's on, you'll see that you have this account dashboard. When you're logged in, you'll see this account dashboard button over here, which takes you to your page and also over here. And uh, then this will disappear. So now also uh, for if you want to uh, put in your social media icons in your footer, just click that on. And I'll show you what happens. If you, uh, you can copy and paste this, put in the copyright line. So we'll just put that and put uh, this demo Steve Smith. And we'll show you what that looks like. Just click, uh, make sure you click update at the bottom. Footer was successfully updated. So now you'll view your page. And you'll see now over here, I have the 2019 Steve Smith and you have your social media icons. Let's keep going. You can change the text color, right? That will be the text color of the social media icons in the footer section, as well as your uh, Steve Smith over there. So let's say we want to charge, change it from white and we want to make it like a little mauve -y. And then the hover color, you could change background color of the footer. Let's say we make that a blue. And we'll click update just to see how that looks. Oops, let's uh, view the page now. And you'll see the background color is now this color and we have the mauve um, icons. And of course, when you hover over them, it changes the colors as well. But uh, that doesn't look so nice. We're gonna move that back to white, put this back to black. And just quickly click uh, update. Okay, so now that you have your copyright line, your text color, your hover color, which of course you could change, the background color. So now we also give you two additional text box, and this could be any any type of message, like thank you. So much for visiting my site. Please let me. Now, if I can help. Okay, and text box two could be, um, it could be different links to your website, like my website, my blog, my dog's blog. Every dog has to have a blog, right? And of course, then you could just, you know, by hovering over, clicking the link, it actually links these to different websites. I'll just put in uh, test.com for now, just so you can see how that looks. And over here, you, uh, you have your Powered By or your logo, which means, if you can see here, you have a Powered By book like a boss. Actually, let's refresh this so you can see the, uh, went back to the black and white. You have Powered By book like a boss. Now, if you're part of our partners program, which we'll talk about in another video, um, if someone clicks on this link from your page and signs up for Book Like a Boss, you will earn a residual income on that. So a lot of people want to keep that there. But in case you don't, we first of all, we give you different types. So we have, a, if you want to keep the Power By uh, logo, you could uh, use a light version, a dark version. It could just be text if you want something that's less conspicuous. So just click Update and I'll show you what that looks like. Refresh. Simple powered by book like a boss. Oh, over here you can see the text that we had added. And you can see that this one's a link as well. So now you see your footer is coming together very nicely. Um, and if you want, um, you could put in your own logo. So you could up, up the load a file. Just keep it like there and we'll click uh, update. View your page. 
And you see that you could put your logo over here as well or any image, whatever you like. So we'll keep that there for now. Now, if you want to uh, uh, create a link to this, so you just put in whatever link when someone clicks that where you want it to go to. So if it's stevesmith.com, again, click update, view the page. And you'll see that now when you click on this, it'll take you to stevesmith.com, which apparently is not a active website. Okay. Going back to the footer, some other options. Now that we have something called the slim URL, which we'll get together, which we'll uh, get into in another video. But that is that every page you create, every uh, appointment, I should say, and every product and service also has a slim page, which is really more just the calendar and some basic information, more of a clean page. So you could choose if you want to put Power by Book Like a Boss, your logo, or if you don't want anything on that page. Uh, and now in the uh, logo in the footer of booking emails that go out, again, if you have the option to turn off uh, the Power by logo, you can just click that, slide it, you know, and it gets turned off. In the booking emails, it says, again, Powered by Book Like a Boss with a little logo. And show or hide the Book Like a Boss branding in the footer of booking success messages. That means when a someone does a booking, it says Powered by Book Like a Boss or create your own booking. Now, again, if you're part of our partners program, which you should definitely sign up for, anytime someone clicks on any of these things, you will get credited with a sale for residual income. So for now, we'll keep these on. And again, we'll click update. Just refresh. And again, all here, all this area is customizable. Anyway, this is how you customize your footer.